what was your what was your personal reaction to the news? Well, you know, I think it's a good thing. I'm I'm a, a firm supporter of the separation of church and state. I agree with Lewis. I think that regardless of people's personal theological views on marriage, I think that uh, you know, we live in a country that um, does not base its laws on my religious beliefs or your religious beliefs, and I think that's a good thing because uh, I don't want my religious beliefs to determine what you're allowed to do because I don't want, say, if you disagree with something that I believe in, I don't want you to, to turn around and try to legislate your religious beliefs and force me to do what, what you want. I, I, you know, I don't mean this about you personally, but you know what I mean. Right. And um, so I, I see this as a good thing. My hope for the church is that as we uh, respond to this, that we stop seeing this as a political issue that's black and white, where we sort of take a stand either as if it's, you know, for homosexuality or against homosexuality as this concept, um, and arguing back and forth about it, say, oh, this is great, this is terrible, you know, but that we say, you know, this is an issue that affects a lot of real people's lives, affects a lot of families, it's tearing apart a lot of churches, and the thing that Christians most need right now is compassion, compassion and grace. There's been a serious lack of grace in Christian discussions on this issue recently. It's damaged the church's reputation terribly. Sure. And I think even if we were to, um, I think regardless of, of which side sort of wins out politically, if Christians end up with the reputation of being anti-gay, anti-LGBT, uh, you know, the, 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 the homophobic folks who just want their way all the time and want to impose their views on everybody else, that is a significant loss for the church no matter which side you're on politically. Uh, so my, my recommendation to folks is to continue to listen to the stories of folks who are affected by these questions um, and... I certainly hope that they will read Torn and get my perspective on what it would look like for the church to be uh, a more compassionate and loving place for folks on all sides. Wonderful. Justin, thank you so much. Uh, that was Justin Lee, the executive director of the Gay Christian Network and also the author of Torn, Rescuing the Gospels from the Gay Gays versus Christians Debate. So Justin, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you.